I'm Nolan Gasser, the composer of The Secret Garden. In June 2010, I was commissioned by David Gockley of San Francisco Opera to write a family opera. My librettist, Carrie Harrison, and I chose the classic children's novel The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. This novel has wonderful operatic qualities that Carrie and I could really sink our teeth into. Namely, it's a tale of loss and renewal, of friendship, and the healing power of nature. Our story begins with young Mary Lennox, a spoiled girl growing up in British colonial India, which allowed me to employ an exotic musical style right at the onset. The Secret Garden is a chamber opera calling for eight singers and a small orchestra of 10 to 15 players, which I use to create rich and varied moments, such as Mary's bright aria when she meets the robin in the garden of her uncle's gloomy manor house in Yorkshire, England. You're a funny little blue little bird. or the playful French horn-driven aria sung by Dickens Sowerby, the story's true child of nature and Mary's first friend. as well as darker, more tense moments, as when Mary first encounters her mysterious cousin, Colin Craven, at the end of Act One. Ultimately, it's all about the characters, especially Mary and Colin, and their journey toward renewal through the magic of the secret garden, expressed through a musical shift from darkness into light. My name is Naomi Kramer. I'm a painter and I'm the visual designer for The Secret Garden. David Gockley invited me to create the sets for The Secret Garden because he thought that my painter's sensibility expressed through video would be the best way to visually tell this complicated story, which has many different locations and has many quick scene changes. So the entire set is projected with just a few physical props that help tell the story and support the action. Early in the story, Mary makes a trip from India to Yorkshire. 
So I had the challenge of how to convey these voyages without getting too complicated. And I thought that expressing these different locations and times in her trip through views through windows would be the best way to convey this. Don't you go looking for him, Mary Lennox. Don't you go where you're not wanted, Mary Lennox. Are you here, Mary Lennox? Nature is at the heart of this story, so I thought it was important to somehow bring a natural component even into the indoor scenes. I did this by adding slight movement of grasses and leaves blowing into the texture of the wallpaper. So it's very subtle, but it helps to locate both their psychological mood and the changing of the seasons. of the story, of course, takes place in the secret garden when Colin is reunited with his father and he's able to walk again. So as the children tended and loved the garden in the course of months, it changed from a dead, gray, wild thing to a climactically beautiful, swaying explosion of color and flowers and paint, in fact, that really helped tell how this story culminates. Working on The Secret Garden with our amazing creative team has been an absolute thrill. So was witnessing the joy of thousands of children who with it have seen their very first opera. We are now delighted to bring the work and its universal message of nature's healing power to opera houses and theaters around the U.S. and beyond.